It was finally here. Minecraft on Xbox. I was excited, playing for almost a year of my time alone on my computer. I started it up and created a new world and titled it New World. Clever, huh? I entered the world and waited patiently as the world loaded the chunks of blocks. The world came to life as I ran straight to a tree. The game was on peaceful because that's how I like to build without those damn creepers blowing up my house to shits and bits. After about 15 minutes, I had built a small cave-like house in the side of a hill. I had a lot of glass windows and a little waterfall to make it look cool. I was finished as much as I felt like doing for the day and decided to get back in the block bed and adventure around the seat in the morning. Morning came in like three to five seconds as it usually goes in the world of Minecraft. And I gathered all I had in my box. I had 24 torches, seven blocks of dirt, three saplings, uh, one and a half stone pickaxes. I took, off, I took off around midday while walking. I fell into a small cave and started to mine around a bit, gathering iron ore, cobblestone, and coal. I just finished my last pickaxe and I was ready to head back to my home. So I used my bare hands to dig through dirt and one or two pieces of cobblestone. I hit an exit and saw daylight, or at least what little amount of daylight was left. So I started walking around trying to find my home. I saw a cave surrounded by smaller caves that led to nowhere. And my curiosity got the best of me, so I went to check it out. I didn't have a pickaxe with me because I just felt like scoping out the cave first. Once inside the cave I felt different already. Maybe it was the change in music. It wasn't anything I've heard in the game before. Usually it's just the three songs constantly playing. It was darker, kind of more depressing. Ignoring the creepy music, I ventured into the cave and saw an underground waterfall and a few blocks of coal. I didn't have wood, so I ran short on torches and I wasn't able to make a pickaxe, but for some odd reason I felt as if I needed to go deeper into the dark caves. Light was dim down here and I could barely see where I last left my torch. I stared into the dark abyss while the music played. I saw something. No. I saw someone. Down in the cave. Down in the cave? This is terrifying. Because I was in a closed game. And it was on peaceful so no monsters could be creeping. It was female and the worst part of this all was... And her texture or skin or whatever didn't match anything on this game. This woman kind of resembled the girl from the Ring movies. My heart was pounding and I had to get the hell out of that cave. So I turned around and hopped up the stone steps. The torches in front of me broke off the wall and I wasn't hitting them. I wanted to look back to see if she was following me, but I didn't. Because I was afraid she really was following me. And I hopped and ran, but the little block legs weren't fast enough. I saw that I was close to the exit and there was a small cave right next to where I needed to go and, and that's where she stood. I stopped. My heart was racing. Why didn't I turn off the game? I threw my controller and started panicking in my room as the bitch just stood there watching my character, turning her head side to side, observing him. I've always felt connected to every game. I play and I didn't want the lifeless Steve character to sit and be analyzed by this thing. So I grabbed my controller and turned to face the exit and started off in that direction. It didn't follow me or stop me, so I felt a little better knowing I was going to get out of the situation alright. I reached the exit and made it three blocks past the door when I heard the music stop and the game started to glitch. In sharp hands to grab my character. The screen flashed red and I could hear the character's voice grunt as if he was being hit. My screen wouldn't let me turn around to see what was going on and Steve's grunt became real screams of pain. The menu came up saying, you die, with the option to respawn or exit the game. I clicked respawn. When I came back to life everything seemed okay, that is until I clicked the left analog stick. My heart sank. I was no longer Steve, I was the tennis player that usually second player plays as when doing split screen. This guy was weird with his booty shorts and I refused to play him, so I exited the game without saving and then clicked New World. I 
popped out in front of my house and then clicking the analog stick to see if I was Steve. No luck. I then realized that whatever that thing was, it took him. And I don't think he's ever coming back. I used to aim and sat in my room quietly for about an hour. I snapped out of my own mind and decided I needed to block off that cave. I jumped back into the new world and began to make wooden planks, located the entrance, blocked it all up with a sign that read, Do not enter Casey's cave. So I decided to name her. I'm not sure why. With the cave boarded up and the warning sign in place, I decided to continue building elsewhere. But I knew for a fact I would never go back to that cave.